lot of people use the special, specially designed stoves and burners to create biochar. Nothing wrong with that, but one thing you've got to purchase them, and two, you can you can do a pit for free. But here's just a part of our leftover gatin, so that's going to burn really, really well. I think I'm going to let the herbits out. They're ready, I think. All right, Brownie. You ready, Uber? Let's get you out then. Just a couple of things you need to make a cone pit for biochar. One is this beast, so a job. And uh, two is motivation, and I'm feeling highly motivated. And three, obviously, is a very manly physique um, with lots of energy. So uh, let's get busy. This is the spot that I've chosen right in between the, the main piles of the it's in there oh the red ants are around uh, it's another reason why I want to do this round here uh, I want to start killing off some of these bloody giant red ants that have been around here for ages so uh, I might get bitten in the process but I think this is a good location to do it long term and then we can get this stuff cleared I make it look so easy. Uh, it's quite hard going the top top layer, get through all the, the rocks. Once you get through that, not too bad at all. So the trick is not to just dig a pit, it's got to be a cone shape. And what you're looking for right in the bottom, you're going to starve that fire of oxygen. And what happens then, the new stuff that you put in to burn, that will smother the old stuff. So similar in the same respect as, as making charcoal where you're depleting the oxygen levels but the difference with this is it's a very very fast burn and uh, you burn it and then just before you start to turn to potash then you smother with it another layer, quick burn that, when that starts to start go white you smother it and you keep on going. So it is quite a busy, busy way to do biochar but for me the benefits are like it's free uh, we've got plenty of land as well, so space isn't an issue. And you can dig the pits wherever your fuels are. You know, you've not got to lug a, uh, a burner around or purchase a burner. And uh, of course, there's no uh, man-made materials involved with this. So that helps the environment as well. But um, yeah, I know the, the, the stoves are very, very popular. I haven't had a go with them. I'm sure they work brilliantly. Maybe even better than this. But for us... Here, in our situation, this certainly makes the most sense. So, I'm going to set this up and uh, get a batch of biochar on the go. Toon's letting the goat hoard out. Right. Sorted. So we've got rice straw at the bottom there, good layer of that, and then the initial layer of this wood. You can see how how brittle it is. Um, put it on quite thick because it burns through quite quickly, and you've got to leave yourself enough time to get the next batch ready. So it's just breaking all that up, and what you're trying to do is smother each layer. Say like once it starts to turn white. Um, some people just drip feed it, just constantly keep smashing. Uh, snapping these sticks and feeding it that way um, but you, you, I tried that the second time and I seemed to get a little bit more potash than the first time round so I'm going to revert back to smothering it each time which is probably the most common way to do it. Right then, let's make some fire. Once the straw's gone and the, the wood has taken hold or the fire's taken hold of the wood you should get very very little smoke love a fire aren't you boys you get a nice clean fast burn 
that's what you're looking for. Right, let that get going and start prepping the other wood because it will be all guns blazing soon. Trying to get that all evenly burning and then we can really get into it. Well that's the last lot on there, apart from a little bit of green stuff that uh, gets trapped in the sticks and that. Very very little smoke as you can see, nice fast burn and you can see there's a little bit of ash round the outside, that's nothing to worry about, that's just from the smaller twigs and um, don't forget underneath that you're going to get the bigger pieces that are still intact. So that's kicking out some heat now. So once that dies down a little bit, I'll just cover it up, leave it till quite late on in the day tomorrow, because obviously the uh, the heat will be retained in the wood itself and in the pit and in the soil around it. Uh, and then we'll dig it out and I'll show you what the biochar looks like and how to check to make sure that it is actually biochar and not uh, potash and not charcoal. Quite an easy way to, to uh, differentiate between the three. Okay then, I think I need an electrolyte. Here we are the morning after the day before. Got my trusty shovel. Smells a bit of duck poo. I'm clearing the duck house out this morning. But here we have Hopefully our pit that isn't still red hot, it will still be warm I dare say. So what we're looking for is stuff that looks like charcoal um, and not too much ash. There will be some ash because as you could, you could see yesterday uh, I was burning all sorts of different sizes of uh, carbon. Um, even including stuff this small and the old Gatin seed pods. So there will be a more potash than you usually get when you do biochar. You really want uniform sized pieces to get a nice even burn. But me being short of time, as always, it all gets thrown in. Potash will still use. Make sure when you're doing biochar, you're not forecast for heavy rains. We had a little drop last night. But you don't want all your all your hard work all your hard work to leach out into the soil. I can feel the warmth on this already. There we go. Oh hey, you've just made Ashley, that's what you're thinking, isn't it? Underneath there, be black gold. I'm gonna look bloody stupid now if it's not, am I, eh? I can even feel it, it's all like crispy. Look at that. Look at that, guys and gals. Outstanding, outstanding. Now, if you too want to make biochar, like Uncle Lee, I am available, I can come out and create a biochar pit for you, $49.99, no problem. So all I'm going to do is chop all this up uh, and then stick it in the wheelbarrow and uh, cool it off because it's still hot. And in an upcoming video I'm going to show you how I put this to good use. It's got so many uses and uh, 
some people, some experts, far more clever than me, uh, go on to TEDx and they, they talk about that it can actually, potentially, save the world as far as modern agriculture techniques going and uh, help to improve the soil and uh, the current state of affairs in the modern world with farming I think it should be seriously seriously looked into and uh, implemented where it can help if you've got poor soil this is one of the most important things that you could ever do but we use it for something else before it goes into the, the land okay a lot of people get it finer than this but don't worry about that um, not for us anyway because uh, as I say the way we're using it at the moment we don't need it super fine that's great good stuff biochar success without purchasing a stone dig yourself a cone pit doesn't have to be particularly deep you go onto the internet and they'll say oh it's got to be this size this depth the most important thing guys is to make that cone shape make sure that it goes to a point um, and you'll notice when you try to start your fire it takes a little a little bit of effort to get it going because there's very very little oxygen down there but once you get it going you just keep piling it all in and like I say if you can get uniform size pieces of um, carbon then uh, you won't get so much ash as I did but to be quite honest considering I didn't have to sift through it all I'll, I'll chuck to bits with that it doesn't look a lot but it goes a long long way Right, I'm going to do a video as well, actually, what biochar is, as well as its uses, and um, how it can help us in so many ways. Farming, piece of piss, isn't it? Right, and guys, one easy way to check whether your biochar is biochar is... Squeeze them. Squeeze them. And what your hand is supposed to be. Not supposed to be blank. Supposed to be yellow. Minute, minute. <laughs> Okay. Right. There's supposed to be one so, wash. One wash with just water. That one. Me. Still fucking black. That is not black. <laughs> see? Okay. All right. On video, might not see, but I see. Ha, ha, ha.